So just as was expected, just before the end of 2024, we had the great news that Cetericet has been granted a license for use in the UK. But sadly, just at the moment, what that doesn't mean is that we can start prescribing it. We have said over the last 12 months, as we were knew we were coming to this, is that the stage after licensing in the UK is nice now need to assess this drug. What that hopefully will do by the end of that process is it will become commissioned. And what commissioned means is that we can then start prescribing it under certain conditions in the UK for some. So for example, the last drug that we had that was new to pH was, some of you may be on this at the moment, is a drug called Selexipag. That was several years ago, but he got a license and then from licensing, nice look at it and see if it's commissionable. What does that actually mean in practice? Is NICE are looking to say, is the cost of that drug worth the benefit, one to the individual, but very specifically to society as a whole? And that's frustrating, but that's a process that we know we're gonna to have to go down the route of. I suppose that if we were learning from past experiences, and as I say, Selexipag was the last drug that went through this process, or a similar sort of process, Selexipag took about 18 months to two years from licensing to be made available. This is a jigsaw puzzle that's slowly falling into place, but without doubt, crucially, this next stage, as I say, keep going back to NICE, the National Institute of uh, Health and Clinical Excellence, their work is gonna be crucial in all that decision-making process. It will be crucial, gotta say this right from the start, what price the drug company are gonna offer this for available in the UK. I think, and I'm fairly certain about this, we'll have to do some lobbying. And that means that we as an organisation are going to come knocking on your door and asking you to get involved in the work that we will be doing. It will be crucial. The patient voice in this next process is going to be absolutely crucial. It's going to be challenging to get it commissioned. I, I honestly and on heart do not believe this is going to happen within 2025. Really, what? Sum up again, um, fantastic news. This drug's been licensed. There's still a lot of work to do, and we're prepared to do that. We're already ready for this. This isn't taking us by surprise. We're ready for this.